What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics and up next we're going to go over the grading of a number of raw books I recently picked up. Stay tuned. Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. Up next, we are going to go over the grading of a bunch of raw books that I, I picked up in a, a recent unboxing video that I did. So we've got a couple copies of this one, actually. Avengers 25, it's the Doom Avengers crossover. Fantastic Four 77, just a uh, cool Silver Surfer, Galactus cover. Amazing Spider-Man 46. Uh, then we've got Shock Suspense Stories number 10, an awesome Jack Kamen cover. Detective Comics 106, and this is actually a Promise Collection pedigree book that's raw, so it's got the Promise Collection thing there. Uh, then we've got Fight Comics number 41, Marvel Super Heroes number 13, Flash number 147, the second appearance of the Reverse Flash, on, and Marvel Super Heroes 13, this is the first Carol Danvers. And then the last one here is another copy of Avengers number 25. And so... This will probably be a little bit longer video. I'll go over uh, uh, all these different books. There's a pretty good variety of grades that are in here, so I think it'll be a useful video. So if you're interested in grading, stay tuned and we'll, we'll go over these. I also want to thank everybody that liked and commented and subscribed on my last giveaway video with the Hulk 340. Uh, I'll put the comment for the winner up here. It was uh, John Frost, so thanks for commenting. I've already sent the book out and he said that it has arrived safely, so that book is there. So now let's get into the grading of these books. All right, so we're gonna start with Avengers number 25. I don't remind myself of what the estimated grade was from the seller because I try to come and look at these impartially so that I don't have that influencing my, my opinion on it. Sometimes it still happens if I remember, but really I, I try not to. So the first thing I always like to do is, well, I like to say, like, is this a super high grade copy? Because then I can use something like Counting Flaws, and honestly, it's not. This is, it's a nice copy, but it's not a really high grade copy where you can just count each defect and basically subtract 0.1, and that'll give you your grade. You subtract, subtract 0.1 from, from 10. And uh, so instead, what I do is I then look for are there any major flaws on this book that are going to immediately lower the grade? Nothing jumps out except this staple right here just feels kind of like it's like pushed in a little bit so I just want to make sure that it's still attached and we can see it looks attached here and then we'll make sure it's attached on the back and it looks attached there too there's a little bit of a tear at that staple but it's still attached so immediately there's nothing that jumps out as a big flaw on this book so we're just going to take a, a general assessment of it and so I like to start at the top corner. You can see we've got a little wear up here. And you, as we go along the spine, we can see there's, there's just general wear, but no real big creases or anything like that that jump out. Then as we get to the, the bottom edge, again, general wear, there's a little piece out right there. But again, nothing major. We go along the, the right edge small piece out there on Dr. Doom and again the top edge top edge looks pretty nice a little bit a little bit of wear on the top edge but nothing really to write home about then I it has some decent color gloss or cover gloss I would say it, it looks a little like it's been a little uh, like it's had some friction on the surface you know it's not super high gloss but it's a decent looking copy uh, then the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the interior of the cover it is for a couple reasons. One is to look for color touch. If you see bleed through like pen or marker like bleeding through, that's a, a telltale sign of color touch. You often want to check the spine and just anywhere where it's dark on the front cover. That's where you'll often see that. Uh, but I don't see anything here. The one thing that's also good for checking the back cover is the, or the back of the covers, you can see stains very easily. So these two stains here that pop out quickly are a lot less obvious on the front. You can see them, but they're much less obvious. So you just make note of those stains. And there's just a little bit of tanning. You can see there's a, just a little browning around the edges of this cover. Now we'll go to the back. And the back cover looks, I mean, it looks nice. There's nothing really that jumps out as a problem. Um, 
Let's see, there's maybe like a little, little staining up there in that corner, but really nothing, again, nothing that really jumps out on this book. Just some light general wear. And so now the, uh, the next thing that's always important to do is to make sure that the book is complete. And so I'll do a, a flip through of the book. This one should have the cover, then eight pages, then you're at the center fold, then eight more pages, then the back cover. And I'll, so I'll fast forward through that, but you can see the interior art of the book. All right, so that's the entire book. All the pages are there. It was fully attached at the centerfold. Nothing really jumping out on the interior of the back cover either. And so this one, it's just some light general wear. I mean, it's actually honestly a, a pretty decent presentable copy. I would say with the wear that I see here, I think that this could get a six. I don't think it can get up into a 6.5. This stain is not really a limiting factor. That's a pretty small stain. Um, you could probably have even in the, I'd say with a stain that size, you could still probably get in the eights. Um, so I'm not really concerned about that, but this is not an eight book. There's enough wear, especially along the spine and on the bottom. Uh, so I think a 5.5 five is very reasonable, 6.0 on the, the upper end for this book. So nice copy of Avengers 25. All right, next we're gonna to jump to DC with Flash number 147. This is the second appearance of the reverse Flash. And again, first thing I like to do is look for general flaws to this book. And I didn't mention this with the first one, but I'm basically, the way I'm grading the book is I'm looking at what the book would be after a press. Uh, because if it's a pressable defect, then it's not something I'm really concerned with. It's, it's a defect that can be taken care of. So I'm looking at the condition of the book that I'm anticipating after a press. That last book was actually very smooth. It probably hardly even would need one, but this one, immediately you can tell it's got all this kind of like dimpling and that kind of stuff on the cover. That can all be improved very easily with, with a press. So again, the first thing, let's look for any major flaws in the book. There aren't any major creases. There's some general kind of, it's hard to see in the light, some wear down in the corner there. This staple looks pretty rough, so we'll check and make sure that that's actually attached. Let's see in the back. There's a stamp, but I'm, I'm not real worried about that, that stamp up there. In this grade, I'm not worried about something like that. But I don't see anything that really jumps out. No big stains. But let's make sure, yeah, because then let's take a look at that staple. Because it's it looks like it's attached, it's just really rough around <laughs> that staple. And if we Look on the interior of the cover here. You can see it is attached there on the top and on the bottom. Again, it, it doesn't look like it's very well attached, but uh, but attached nonetheless. So, um, so the first thing again, let's start at the top here. And you can see we've got a little bit of almost like pre-chipping on the, the top edge. We've got some creasing here. Again, this is not a, a high grade copy, so we're not counting flaws with this book. General wear again around the staples and then along the bottom edge. Bottom edge looks relatively decent, uh, but we run into some issues definitely in this corner. So this corner has, see if I can get it shown the light. Yeah. So there's a lot of like light creasing here. Some of it breaks color, some of it doesn't. The question with this book is, is it worth it to get the book pressed? You know, after the cost and everything of pressing and that, is it actually worth the cost? Uh, top edge looks okay. We've got some damage up in this, this corner here. But overall, I mean, it's it's got, it's got a, a fair amount of, of light wear and in some cases moderate wear to the cover. Now let's look at the interior of the cover. Is there anything there that looks like color touch along the spine? I don't see anything that jumps out. I don't see anything else that looks like color touch anywhere else on there. And is there any staining? No real staining, a little bit of tanning. When I say tanning, it means it's basically like a little brown around the edge. And it's just basically that, that paper is getting more and more brittle as it gets kind of more of that tan color. Then we go to the back. Again, 
really it's about the same just general wear on the back of the cover so nothing really to write home about again there's a light stain let's see if we can get it to show up in the light here yeah a really light stain right there um, and maybe maybe a light one right around here too but nothing big nothing that really jumps out a little bit of creasing up in the corner here so now we need to check page count make sure that that everything is there again this one should have eight to the center and then go into the back cover so count through those Okay, so if you saw me go back there, it's because I was I only got seven, and so I must have grabbed two pages at once, and so I went back and checked, and they're all there. Uh, so yeah, and again, nothing really jumps out on the interior or the back cover. Page quality is actually pretty nice for this one. I don't know if it would hit white, but off white to white, I think is pretty likely for this book. It might even get white. It's pretty nice page quality. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, the main issues on this one really are this corner down here and this crease here and the little bit of spine wear. And so with the creases, what I'm looking at is there are one, two, three, maybe four, five, maybe six inches of creases. And so kind of with six inches of creases, the general rule of thumb is that you're you're going to be at a, a 6.5 or less. This book is definitely not a 6.5 copy. So the creases aren't the limiting factor, but then you've also got some wear on the spine here. And just from my experience of seeing similar books, I've had I've had books that have had, you know, creasing and things like this that end up with like a a 5.5 five without this additional spine wear. And so then with this additional type of wear, I think this is about a 4.0 book after a press. Pre-press, it's probably like a 3.5, but I think this book could hit a 4. With this amount of creasing, this wear at the staples, because it is fully attached, and this wear down in the corner, I think a 4 is very reasonable. Could it maybe get a 4.5? It's possible. I think it's possible this could be a 4.5 book, because there's no real big major flaws on it that, that really jump out. Um, it's just got some of that general wear and so for for this one i'd say a four to a four five all right up next let's jump to a golden age book this is fight comics number 41 this is from late 1945 this is i believe a joe doolin cover uh he did a lot of the good girl art type covers it's kind of a, a classic good girl art bondage cover and so this one does have some things that jump out right away and so you can see right here you've got this relatively large piece that that's missing from the cover there's also this piece that is barely holding on and we have a large tear there and we have some staining and quite you can see how brown the interior of this cover is now it is from 1945 <laughs> you know i mean this book is 77 years old uh so and we've also got a spine split down here that's about an inch so total tears on the cover it's about two and a half inches of tears. We're also missing about a half of a quarter about size, maybe a little more than that size piece. Plus we're missing a little piece up here. So there are a lot of things that are immediately going to limit this book. So with the tears, with about two and a half inches of tears, we are sitting at around a 4.0 max. With the missing piece there, we are sitting at around, I would say, about a 4.0 max with this. I don't think that this is a, a 4.0 book. Um, with with the tears and, and the, the missing pieces and everything, like right off the bat, I don't think it's a 4.0 book. It's got other, you can see, like, can get it in the light. It's just other light it creasing and dimpling and things like, things like this can probably be cleaned up. Uh, they, they aren't they don't really too color breaking it might break some fibers a little bit but not color breaking let's take a look at the back the back is miss well it's folded up but that piece probably isn't gonna survive any pressing or anything like that 
Uh, we've got some tears along the top. Now uh, the back cover is actually pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool back cover with the old school football helmets and everything. Um, but nothing that's actually, the front cover actually unfortunately has the bigger flaws. It'd be great if you had the missing piece on the back cover instead of the front, but it is what it is. But right with that, uh, I, I've already pretty much made my assessment on this book. This is a single staple book, it appears. Yeah, it's a single staple book. It is fully attached there. I'm always, I'm always going to be careful with these. I don't want to accidentally detach it. See, that's a pretty awesome opening splash page there. So that's a cool splash page. Um, but uh, this one, let's see, I checked and it has, this one is 36 pages as well. When you're talking about Golden Age, you really have to go into some reference like the Grand Comics database because there's no consistent page count in the Golden Age. They jump all over the place. Uh, like the Detective Comics one is a, uh, what is it? It's like 58 pages, 52 pages. Detective Comics is 52 pages. This one's 36. And so you just, you need to check that to make sure. So we're gonna, we'll flip through this book, make sure all the pages are there. There's no cutouts. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll go through this one maybe a little more slowly so you can see the interior art on this one since it's a pretty rare book. All right, so you saw all the pages are there, get to see the interior art for, for this one. And, and you can see kind of how it's a little bit of a, a wonky right edge. It's not trimming or anything. It's just, that's what, especially with Fiction House, you often get some, some kind of some weird cuts and that kind of stuff. But uh, so everything is there, everything is attached. So that's good. I, like I said, with the flaws that are there, if everything else was perfect, I feel like it would be a maximum of a, a 4 -0 book. Everything else is not perfect. And so I think a 3-0 is very possible with this one. Could they give it a 2-5? Maybe. I don't think it can get to a 3-5. It's, it's possible after pressing, since there's no real big creases or anything like that, it's possible after pressing it could hit a 3-5. But the big concern really is, is this large piece out here. And then this is a, this is a pretty substantial tear that's on the cover there. Um, so I think two, five to a three is a reasonable estimate for this book. All right, up next, back to the silver age. And this time we're, this is a square bound and this is Marvel superheroes. Number 13. This is the first appearance of Carol Danvers. She is not captain Marvel yet. It's this version of captain Marvel that we have here. Uh, and, but this is her first appearance in the silver age. Now this one has, I believe, if I remember some big, yeah, so major spine split it's not it's not fully detached but major spine split on the front pretty major spine split here on the back cover so when you look at those the way i treat that type of spine split is it's basically a tear i treat that as a tear and so on this one we've got let's see where does it get up to here so we're like one two Five and a half, maybe. So we're at about like eight inches of tears <laughs> on this uh, on this uh, on this book. Now it is still attached and everything, but when you've got eight inches of tears, you are at a pretty low grade right off the bat. Um, now it's not a high grade copy, regardless. You know, but it is a decent presenting copy. And that's one of the things with a lot of these square bounds. You'll often get copies that look pretty nice, but they'll have major flaws like that. And that will end up just hammering the grade. And so you can get some nice presenting books, especially with things that are really expensive, like Silver Surfer 1 or Silver Surfer 4. Those books, you can get some, some decent presenting copies uh, for a good price with these splits. And you can see it's also a lot of wear on this edge here. Like a lot of the text is, is just completely gone. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's, it's a low grade book. Um, I don't even really need to look at much else because of that, those flaws. Back cover is complete. There's, you know, a little tear there, some little creasing here, 
But that's how, you know, when you're grading books, you don't have to look at absolutely like every little flaw that's on there. If you have big limiting flaws like this, you just go, okay, this a two, maybe a two five with that amount of tears and you, you move on. And so this one I would probably grade at around a, a two, maybe it gets a two five, but I, I think uh, with that amount of tearing, that's, that's right where we're gonna be at. But we do have to count the pages. And so the square bounds, this one has 68 pages. So it's going to be, uh, there's no centerfold. So with these ones, you've got, you can see here, if you haven't seen a square bound before, it's got the staples on the interior. The staples are through the pages and then the cover is glued on. And so you just go, if it's 68 pages, you get four pages from the front and back covers because it's each side. And so then we need to count 32 total pages and that will take the, because each side is, counts as, as one. And so that'll be 64. So I'll flip through these. I'm gonna be a little careful with it so I don't you know, potentially damage the cover anymore, but I'll, I'll try to make it so that you can still see the interior art. All right, so there were 32 interior pages. First appearance of Carol Danvers, and it's the second appearance of this version of Captain Marvel. And just basically with those large spine splits, uh, I have this book as a two, possibly a two five. All right, up next, we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 46, first appearance of the Shocker. Like I said in the video when I did the unboxing, I have a number of copies of this book, but they're all very low grade, just like this one. And this one has Again, some pretty major flaws right off the bat. You can see it's got a pretty big spine roll. You can see how it's basically like flared out there. There's also some very large spine splits. So let's see here. So you can see the top there, it splits down below the staple. And the staple looks like there's maybe a little rust, but that's, <laughs> that's, not, a, that's not a concern here. So we've got a spine split that's one, two and a half inches maybe, and then down on the bottom, we have another spine split here. That is another two inches or so. So we are at about four and a half inches of tears, which would basically put the max grade around a two five, if that's all, if that's all there was. Uh, you might be able to get a three, but I'd say about a two five. Then we've also got a little bit of paper loss here. This is folded up, but again, that could easily come off. A little bit of paper loss here, a little bit of paper loss down here, and just some general wear. But things I like about these types of books is that the main image doesn't have any big pieces missing. It still looks really nice in a mylar. You know, we look at the back cover. Back cover has a little bit of, it looks like staining or something over here. Um, has some tanning, but again, it's complete, not missing any any big pieces. So now we need to check the interior. Is there any uh, color touch or anything? Because even if it's low grade, doesn't mean you don't have color touch, you don't have restoration, you always have to check. I don't see anything. There's quite a bit of tanning on this one. You can see that dark browning around the edges. Uh, but let's take a look and make sure we've got all the interior pages. So all the pages are there. You can see there's also some little bit of folding up of the interior pages on the back. Everything, it looked like at the centerfold, that top staple did look like it was still attached. Uh, so centerfold is attached. Uh, cover is detached at the top staple. Might kind of be attached at the back cover. So when somebody says that, what they mean is that, see how it's torn, but there's that small bit of paper there still holding onto the staple. 
I would never claim that it was attached because I'd be worried that in shipping it would just come loose. I would just say it's detached. And uh, actually, let's we can just we can go like this. Let's see here. Yeah, it's it's a fully detached cover. So that's the you know, we can tell right away it it wasn't even attached there. The little piece of paper was already torn on the other side. Uh, so it's a fully detached cover. You've got one, two and a half, one, two, and then like a little bit here, half, so probably you'd say five inches of spine splitting. And so with a fully detached cover, the, the max you can get is a three. With that amount of spine splitting, the max you can get is about a two, five. I would put this book at like probably a, a 1.5, maybe a 1.8 with just the amount of, of spine wear and the uh, the detached cover and everything. So 1.5 to 1.8 for this one. All right, so that was the grading of all these books. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here if you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.